welcome to our episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Chris. I'm Christopher. And on today's episode, we're taking a look at the official trailer for Press Play. Um, it's a unique rom-com mm -hmm. of sort, or oh, music-based romance film. Time traveling sort. type of situation. Uh, basically, a woman has a chance to save her other life because she just so happens to have the ability to travel through time. Okay. Yes, you said that right. <laughs> you heard that come out of his mouth right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just... I got nothing else. Look, there's... I don't recognize the directors. The, I mean, the director seems to have worked... Oh, my battery's about to die. Seems to have worked on, um... What was it? Uh, Fault in Our Stars, but not, like, director written. Just was part of the crew that worked on Fault in Our Stars. Oops. That's all I really Fine. got. So let's dive into this. For the official trailer... For press play. So here we go. Why do you like records so much? You have this tangible thing right there in front of you. I love that. I have something for you. You are now recording the very first song on our mixtape. To a horror film. Cool. You're gonna think I'm crazy. No, no, I won't. Um, what? I'm from the future. Like, like, hoverboard future? I'm not kidding. You're gonna die. Oh, fuck! I don't really know how to say this without sounding crazy, but, um, I can travel through time. How is this even possible? I don't know, but every time I play a song on a mixtape, it takes me back in time to the moment we first heard it together. Oh, that's how it works. The moment they first heard it. I could have seen this more as a comedy, where it's like they, it's like they go back to the it's first weird song. That's not. A, is it weird that it's not a comedy? I would, I would assume it would be a comedy more because it's like they go back. It's like the first time we heard the song, and they're just like, "Why the fuck did we add the song to the playlist? Really? Yeah, you know, it's like one of those things. To it. Why? You know? I mean, it's a kind of unique premise. I, I like the twi I do like the twist on it where it's like that's how she travels back through time. She goes back, whatever song she plays on it, t it takes her back to that moment they first heard it together. Yeah, you know that that you know unique moments. Um, it does suck to him. It's the su it suck uh, that you know that he dies the way he dies. Wow, uh, <laughs> but. You know, like I said, I, that's what I like about these films. The, the way they can twist a good, or, you know, or, uh, like a romantic type of story. You know, they can really twist on its head with the time travel. Because I've seen, we've seen the, I've seen a couple of the time travel stuff. There's times when they've done a good job with it. There's times when they've done not a so good, not a great job with it. You know, this one, I can't really say anything, really. It's more of, a, I'm going to have to watch it. This is to, to have my opinion of like, okay, how is this compared to the other ones I've seen in the past? Or at least, in, in, you know, in the past couple of years or so that they've released. Um, dealing with time travel as well, especially. Uh, but I guess we'll have to see. I mean, does it look too bad? But again... The trailer could just be giving away everything right then and there, and that's it. But I don't know. Well, I'm just really give me vague butterfly effect vibes. That old Ashton Kutcher film. No, the reason like I guess that brings back uh, you know a couple of other ones because there's that one with uh, I think uh, what's his name? I think Asa Butterfield, pretty much, where he he loses the girl and then he decides to build his own time machine. He goes with back with his friend to try to save the relationship or at least try to fix the relationship. Um, We've seen so many rom-com trips. There's I'm that really one, and there right is uh, oh, there's that one with uh, the now uh, it was on Netflix, pretty much. But it was a really bad one with uh, 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 what was it, Adam Levine or something like that, or the 
the the I know pretty much he, he he's very he's always been the friend zone, let's put it that way. And he decides to bring my obviously he gets transported to the past. Very much to try to see, he could try to you know get out of the friend zone because he meets her at like a Halloween costume or something like that. Like you said, there's others back back, back there. But it's just there's some good ones and then there's some bad ones. This one I don't know. Like I said, I would have to watch it to kind of really see okay what route they're going here. Because even with the serious uh, type of sci-fi ish type of thing, the aspect they add to it. Sometimes it can go in either way. So, yeah, that's, that's just my thoughts overall. So, other than that, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button if you want to talk to us more about stuff like this. Comment down below if you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like us just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about films like this, hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon as well. What did you guys think of this? Do you guys have any favorite type of romantic sci-fi type of films from the past? Or not even that, romantic time traveling films from the past that really pique your interest ones that really say this is you know the you know this is a great one it is a good one they did, it did with and stuff like that and what do you think of this one how do you think this may possibly compare to the others let us know in the comments down below put down what you thought of our reaction overall but most importantly we thank you for watching so until next time i'm Kristen. i'm christopher this has been a very just push play filled episode of srb see you later Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out any of our previous reactions, as well as one of our other SRB shows, check out one of the playlists down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can find us on Twitter and Stardust at Super React Bros. As well as on Facebook at Super Reaction Bros.